we'll keep a track of you. <laughs> then you got a ticket on Friendship Street in 2008. That was a parking meter on Friendship Street. That's going to cost you $25. And now you have four parking tickets. Are you talking about the most recent ones? Most now? recent ones, right. All right. The on one the, on, on, the, on the Nissan. Yeah, the one on 11 one, I went to Social Security because they had cut my check. Because my son was recently killed last year. So they cut my check because Who? he had old money. Who? My son was oh. killed. March of last year, right? So I was his rep payee. So they took my money because he had old money. So I had to go to Social Security to fix that matter. When I came out, my, I had a ticket. Then another time on the 5th, the pocket meter wasn't working. I have the picture for that. On 1-4, I was at court because my uh, landlord was trying to evict me. So I was at eviction court. Come out, I got a ticket. Mind you, he won possession of the apartment, so I had to move. So I got a ticket, he won possession of the apartment. Then I get another one because I tried to go to the legal services to try to get help to fix this. I go get some change out of Dunkin' Donuts, come out, I got a $100 ticket. What was the, like uh, I can't <clears throat> win. What was the situation with the mix-up in Social Security with your son? My son was killed last year, March of last year. They said that he owed $75 of overpayment from May of 2016. Mind you, he was already deceased at that time. So what they did was they stopped my whole check until I went in there to fix the problem. So when I came out, right. I had a pocket ticket. All right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> I've had a tough year already. You know, I, I really, I'm on SSDI. I don't, I don't have $400 to give you on top of whatever else. I really do. I just had to. <laughs> come up with money for a new apartment. I'm still paying Russell and Boyle for my son's funeral. Like, I, I don't know where this money's supposed to come from. I wish I would've got my brother that night and he wouldn't have killed my son. That's why my son's good. And I'm just really having a tough time, Your Honor. I think we can all express our sympathy to you and understand the trauma that you have experienced. <clears throat> I'm still going back and forth to court for that. There's still emotions and, I don't know. I'm gonna take all of the uh, circumstances that you just have explained to me into consideration <clears throat> and see if I can balance the equities to protect the interests of the city and take into consideration you know, the horrific story that you just told us relative to your son. I don't think anyone in their lifetime, but everyone who experienced that, so. It's the worst feeling in the world. I feel so empty, Lord. I'm gonna reduce this to uh, $50. How much time do you need to pay it? I have it on me now. All right, that's not gonna leave it without any money, is it? I'll leave it with $5. Thank you, Ronda. <clears throat> I'm not gonna leave you with $5. I'm not gonna leave you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dismiss everything. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> With our best wishes and hope that things turn around good for you. Okay. You, good. Good luck to you. Thank good luck.